What's poppin' people? Welcome to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. Drop some comments down below on what videos you guys want to see next too. But anyways, we are actually kayak fishing today. As you guys can tell, I got the kayak trailer out. Gonna be whipping the Bonafide SS127 today. I've been rigging up some rods, getting some stuff ready. We're at this beautiful lake, as you guys can tell right here. It is just a beautiful area. We've actually filmed a few videos out here before. The last time that we came, it was really tough. I only caught one fish and it was like four pounds. So we're gonna be trying it today. I got a couple baits rigged on that I think are gonna be the key for today. It is extremely hot. Let me tell you guys, it's like 90, it's in the 90s today, it's super hot. But um, we're gonna try our best to get out here and catch some fish. I'm just like sweating and, and just, it's really bad but anyways we got the kayak out so it, it is a mess we got some baits laying around but we're going to be rigging up a few rods getting out there and trying to catch some big fish but yeah for you guys wondering this is the ss 127 i saw a lot of comments in the last one well, let's go ahead and go around i want to show you some of my baits so i'm going to be rigging up four rods today bringing them out and um the first one i got is actually a shaky head right here and um it's got a little prong on it by six cents if you guys want to get 10 percent off you can this is actually on my mock crush so i got a shaky head we got the new six cents frog which you guys saw in the last episode that thing is freaking hot we only ended up catching one fish on it the bite was really tough but you know this thing ran super well and i'm excited about it today there's a lot of grass along the bank and i think we could get a really big bite on this there's not really any wind today it's perfect for kayak fishing i don't like going out in the kayaks when it's super windy because it can get really bad and your kayak can be turning circles it's just a catastrophe but we got a frog shaky head then we got a fluke on this rod, just a weightless EWG hook. We could put a Senko on it as well. That's on the mock smash. And then lastly, we got a divine swim jig right here. And this is actually my juice color. You guys already know the white and chartreuse is just saucy. You got the little chartreuse swim bait with the blue on top. That thing fits perfectly. This is actually on my mock too. I just put a new line on this, so that's fantastic. I don't know if we're gonna be using this a lot today. There is a lot of grass in this lake, but what I will say is that there's not much wind today. I don't know how active these fish are gonna be. The pressure is a little bit high today. So like I said, I'm just curious. I think the shaky head's gonna kill it. Maybe a frog bite would be you know, stellar as well. I know the fluke could get much too. I think that'd be a great little option. But these are the rods. We're gonna go ahead and load them up in the kayak. Or actually, we're gonna set them down. We're just gonna lay them down right there for right now. We gotta get the kayaks off the trailer. So we're gonna go ahead and do that first. Get them in the water and go catch some big fish. You guys better stay tuned. Hit the like button if you guys wanna see some more kayak content let's get it all right so we got a kayak down here this is a lot of i don't know you kayak anglers already know you this is exercise i will tell you man you dragging these kayaks down to places this can be a dang exercise and this kayak's really heavy i just have a bunch of stuff in it it's freaking <laughs> this is a lot more work than you think especially when it's 95 degrees outside Come on, there she goes. We are off, we are for lift off. And I wanted to show you guys this too. Super crystal clear water in here. You can see down probably visibility is around 10 to 15 foot. I ain't even just saying that. Gets to around 20 foot out here. Visibility is insane. A lot of grass. I'm really impressed um, with this place, with the, with the visibility. It is so clear. You can see right to the bottom. All right guys, it's about time to get this started. I'm already sweating bullets gonna be a fun day this is the thing with kayak fishing it like I, I don't like a lot of wind when kayak fishing and today is the perfect example of that it is dead calm but let me tell you when it's 95 degrees outside it is uh it's a little brutal i ain't gonna lie i every time like it's cold and it's in the winter i'm like man i don't care how hot it is i just wish it was hot outside and now this is like the first brutally hot day that i've been outside and i'm not really enjoying it i'm not gonna lie There's some fish chasing bait out there. You see that? Bait ball. Guys, I just saw some bait. All right, we're gonna throw this swim jig out here. It's actually really deep. It's just like the only moving bait I have right now. I have that fluke, but it has a tail bitten off it. I gotta put another one on. But I saw a bunch of bait right here. Imagine just getting slammed by a giant right away. That would just be, that would be awesome. Let me tell you. I don't know if that's gonna happen today, but that would sure be a little present, wouldn't it? Look how clear this water is, it's crazy. Now we got a little bit of wind, we got a tiny breeze. Throw this shaky head, beaming off on this point. 
kayak's already deciding to turn in a circle on me today. That's aggravating. So guys, I'm gonna rig up a brand new fluke. Look at my arms. I'm, I'm, I'm already sweating bullets out here. This is a glimmer blue fluke. The reason I'm using this one instead of like a straight white is because it is really sunny today and I feel like this color could get the job done. It's like a pearl, but it has like a blue tint to it and it's got a lot of black flakes in it. And this this color right here could, could smoke some, I will say that. If they're not buying this one, I'll put on the regular white, but I just think with the sun today and how it's blaring down, that's gonna be money. The main reason I'm putting on this fluke too is I've just seen a bunch of bait popping. You know, I, I just I just see a ton of bait popping. I see a lot offshore too, which is interesting. We're gonna have to toy around with that. But I think they'll munch this fluke. Oh no. Oh no, he came off again. What? He broke me off. That was a freaking big one. He's right there. Look at him. He's like three pounds. What? What in the freak just happened? Guys, I have not had a bite this whole time. And then all of a sudden, I just had one hammer me. I hooked him. He never had it. He ate it again. I hooked him. He never had it. And then he ate it again and he just broke me off. That is so weird. Wow. It's a good fish too. Alright, we're back in business now, guys. That kind of upsets me because that was the first fish today to do that to. I haven't retied this since the yachty trip, so maybe that's why. I must have just had a friend and I should have retied it. But that fish ate it three freaking times. That was weird. I don't understand why he wouldn't get hooked. It was a pretty good fish. I saw him. I th he felt big. And then I saw him swim right under the boat. He's like three pounds. I'm just going to keep on covering water. Maybe we can get on this bite. I was waiting to get that bite. I, I was casting it for a while. And I was like, this just seems like it would be the money on this grass. Especially with all the bait that I see. Sure enough, finally got bit. Oh my gosh, he came off. He ate it like a top water. Oh my gosh, what? He just pulled off. That's ridiculous, that was so cool though. I just popped this thing over that grass. He came up and just munched it exactly how he should have. Dang, oh. there he is. Oh yeah, it's a decent one too. It's like a two number. Oh yeah. Look at that fish. This might be the same one. It could be a different one though. It's like a little two pounder. Oh man. Come on, baby. There she is. Look at that. She ain't even two pounds. She's about a pound and a half though. Pretty beautiful fish with the markings on this thing. All right guys, first fish today. Sorry my GoPro just died. So it's a beautiful little bass. We're gonna get him right back in the water. Nothing huge, but pretty markings on this fish. And get him right back in. There you go. Get back in there, catch another one. All right, guys, we uh, just got that first fish. Sorry my GoPro died literally right when I landed it, but seems to be some fish on this grass right here. We got this shady, shady little spot right here on the edge of this grass. It looks amazing. And as you guys can tell, it's kind of flooded. It's like it's flooded up in the grass. So I bet we could cast this up there. You know what we should throw right there is a frog. Or we could hop this fluke across it. Oh man. That just looks money. I swear there's fish up there.
pick up this prawn real quick on the shaky head. Slow down a little bit more. There's fish up there. What's up? Oh, one just hit me. I watched my fluke dart to the left. He didn't eat it, he just hit it. Oh my God. There's a bass right in front of me. There's a good three pound bass right below me. Oh my gosh. Oh. A three pounder just swam off like this bed. Guys, I'm so upset about this. I just caught a really, it was a really cool catch. I saw so many big fish on my camera and for some reason I wasn't recording. I don't understand. I, I had like a ton of three and five pounders swimming, swimming under me and then this like two number just came and swam right up to me and I flipped right in front of me ate. It was such a cool clip. I almost fell out of my kayak. Oh man, that's so aggravating. We're just gonna keep fishing. I think this is gonna be the good area. We're gonna find some good fish over here. As you guys can see in the water, those are the beds right there below us. Um, we're gonna come back and try to catch those bigger ones off of it, but pretty two number. Get her right back in the water. Thank you, baby. That's not what you're supposed to do. There she goes. All right, we're going to get another one of these prawns out. This, if you guys are wondering, this is in green pumpkin blue. Gosh, guys, I'm so mad I didn't get that on GoPro. I apologize about that. I'm actually kind of upset about it because it was actually really, like, it was just such a cool clip. Like, I, I, I saw so many fish on the GoPro. Man, that's just aggravating. I, like, almost fell in the water. It was just like a whole, that was just a solid clip right there that I just didn't get to capture, sadly, but... We're going to keep on working. I think we're going to catch some more. You know, we're going to rig up this prawn on the shaky head and kind of search around how we did right there. And um, hopefully we'll find some more that are like on bed. But there was two that were on one bed. One of them was like five pounds. One of them was about three. Then all of a sudden I saw that one swim out of nowhere. It was like two pounds. But we're going to keep on fishing. Yep. Yep. Please eat it. Please eat it. Oh, where'd she go? Right on her bed. I can't believe there's still fish bedding out here. I did not expect that. Oh my God, where'd she go? See these beds right here, guys, are just insane. I did not think we we're gonna be coming out sight fishing today. I know we're gonna be able to find more. I saw so, <laughs> is that the one I just caught? I can't tell it now, I got a glare on the water. If you guys notice, they're off the grass too. They're not right on the edge of it. They're like, Five. Oh, oh my God! I think that's a different fish. That fish is very territorial. Oh my God! I thought he just ate me. He's chasing me. Oh, there's two of them. I got a lot on bed over here. If you want to come over? I can't believe I just stumbled on. We've been like fishing for a while, just to randomly stumble upon some beds with some big fish on it was just such a surprise. I was like, wait. But everywhere we've been fishing has been pretty deep. I, didn't, I thought they would be done bedding in here and spawning personally. So I didn't even think about coming over here to this flat. But right when we came over here, I mean, just big fish after big fish after big fish. Oh my God. Guys. Guys. He's looking at me. He's about to eat it. No way. No way. Oh my gosh, that's a good one too. That's the best one today. Oh my God, that was so cool. 
Oh my gosh, look at that right there. Solid two number. Gosh, <laughs> right there in the top of his mouth. He just, oh my God, there's the female. There's the female right there. Oh my God. All right, guys. We're going to release this fish real quick. Beautiful one. I'm going to try to drop on her head. I can't believe they're locked. What in the world? These fish are locked on bed. This is probably going to be the best bed fishing day I've had this year. Got all these little bluegill pecking at the eggs on the bed. It's irritating these bass. Oh my god, my curl's all messed up, but where'd she go? I'm about to leave this bass alone that I'm hovering over the top of. I honestly didn't even mean to, but there's two, <laughs> there's two really good fish right below me. It's kind of funny. Look at this bass. I don't know if you guys can see that. Oh, he's about to smoke one of those bluegill. He's about to smoke me. There's a bass. There's a bass sitting there. He's looking at me. He just looked right at Oh, watch. He's going to eat it right away. Yep. 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 It's a smaller one. Ah, you ain't worth my time, squirt. Yep. He ate it. Got him. A little squirt. Ain't nothing big. He's pretty colors on this fish though that was a little tiny one i just saw on that bed a second ago thank you bud look at the markings on that bass holy cow you ain't a big one but you're a pretty one look at that beautiful beautiful fish right there on that prawn they are smunching the prawn today i'll pop the link up on my or i'll pop the code up on my screen that prawn is whacking them today pretty bass thank you bud The beds that are closer to the bank, I'm not really seeing any. Ooh. Did you guys see that? Did you guys see that? He's right here below me. Where did you come from? Oh my God, there's another one. Oh my God. So hard with this kayak. I end up rolling up on top of these places. I got him. God, he was on that flat right there. Threw right up there. He got it right on that flat. I didn't even have to see anything. I was just talking about that. I came to another side of it. Holy cow, this guy's fighting. Is it big? He ain't bad. One of the biggest. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at that fish. That's a beautiful one. Look at that right there. That prawn is smoking them, guys. Right here on this flat, I saw a bunch of little bait fish popping. Threw up there, he's running with it instantly. Got him right there in the corner of the mouth. The prawn is just kicking butt. That's a good, that's a beautiful fish. Get you right back in, bud. Thank you. Yo, what's up, guys? It's actually the next day, and we're going to be trying to do some fishing. Kayak fishing out there was fun. It was a good time, but let me tell you, it was so hot that I just couldn't even take it anymore. Caught some good fish out there. Missed a few on the GoPro. Like, the GoPro just wasn't recording, but all in all, it was a really good time. And um, I'm running low on time today, but today I was like, you know what? I'm going to go out, and I want to do some bank fishing for the rest of the half of this video and see if we can end up catching some fish. So I'm excited about that. It's still blazing hot. I think it's 96 out right now. It is, it is new for me. Let me tell you, just the breathing and uh, I'm, I'm hot, man. I'm hot. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't complain about the heat, but it is, it has been hot. So we're going to try to catch some big fish today. Hope you guys stay tuned. If you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also hit the like button. Let's go ahead and hop in the truck and go catch some fish. All right. So we just made it down to the pond. We're going to be trying this out. I actually still have my fluke on from yesterday. That's what we're going to be rolling with. This is like that disco blue color. I still have... I have a regular pack right here, just pearl white ones, which I think would be better in this water anyways. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and start off with this. This is on my mock smash. It was exactly what we're using the day before this. And uh, we're actually at the pond 
that they were draining. I know you guys remember this. I filmed a video out here. There's two huge carp swimming right there. But I filmed a video out here and they were draining this pond. Well, little did I know, I talked to a few people. They weren't actually draining it. They were just cutting it off and they were shortening it up and they're gonna be building houses over here. So they weren't eliminating the pond completely, but I can tell you they, <laughs> it definitely hurt the fishing in here. I will say that the water clarity is totally different. It's super muddy and I don't even know if we're gonna be able to catch one in here, but we're gonna try it today. I just wanna come back and, and see. And that's why I didn't do, do a fish rescue out here as well. I know you guys are probably wondering about that. Um, so that's the reason because, you know, the pond is still gonna be here. There is no point in us rescuing these fish out of here. Uh, that's the moral of the story. So anyways, we're gonna get to fishing and we're gonna see if we can catch some fish in this place right here. I'm really curious to see if we can get some bites. Well, that was not the move one bit. Let me tell you, that was not, no, no, no. I went out there, I went fishing for a good bit. I don't even know if I'm gonna use any of that footage. That place, it's gonna take a little bit for that place to get back to normal. I am gonna say that. It's not, it was never really easy to catch them out there, but you could usually go out and catch around three fish, you know? And sometimes you could you would luck into like a four plus pounder, but it is destroyed. Let me tell you, with all that stuff that they did around it, cutting the lake in half, draining the water, working all around it, it's just got this fish all messed up. And not only does it have all the fish messed up, I think it killed off so many fish. And that's just sad, man. I hate to see that. Um, I'm just glad they didn't drain it because they I, that's what I thought they were doing from the first place was draining it. So I wanted to pretty much, you know, get the fish out of there. Um, but that's not the case, you know. They're, they're, they're just adding on to it. That's it. But um, yeah, we're going to keep on fishing. We're going to try to find some new places right now and put our heads down, get to work, hopefully catch a big fish. Let's just keep her going. Right, so we just got out to a whole new place. I've only been here one other time before so i'm kind of excited about it we caught a good amount of fish um it wasn't easy to get them to bite but what i will say is there's fish in here and i haven't been here in like a over a year so kind of excited to give it a shot and see if we can catch some fish here got him Oh, oh, yo, this is a decent one, too. That was awesome. Caught him right off those rocks. He hammered that sucker. Let's go. Yes, that is a fat guy. Oh, my gosh, are you fat, buddy? Beautiful bass right there. Look at that. Nothing big, but beautiful fish right there. Heck, yeah. I thought I saw my fluke disappear, and it didn't. It was just the ripples in the water, and right after that, he actually ate it. It disappeared for sure that time. I was like, oh. We got one, but that is a quality fish for the, like the size of him. Just like really filled out, you know, he's a really fat guy. So I enjoy that. Maybe if we get a big one in here, he's going to be really chunky. Look at that little belly. Thank you so much, bud. Really clear water in this place too. There he goes. Let's keep on going. That was awesome. There he is. Oh yeah, yeah. That was awesome. That was awesome right there. Look at that fish. Beautiful one. We're gonna slide you right on up here, bud. Been a minute since I've had another bite. So that feels good right there. <laughs> Let's watch that fluke disappear. That is so sweet right there. They're healthy, you can tell. There's doesn't seem to be a ton of them, but a healthy little bass, pretty colors on them. Thank you so much, brother. Get you right back. <laughs> 